Hey guys, it's Cowan Hill bringing you a bit of firing range domination and this is actually a 200 and O, so we don't let them cap any flags and I'm not alone so would you like to introduce yourself? Of course, thank you very much. My name is Brady, my YouTube channel is Snebsor and I'm actually the guy who's had the cyberbullying problem. I was featured on Woody's Gamer Tags, episode 37 of Painkiller Pain Killer already. Yeah, um, so I heard your story and I heard you know everything you were saying and it become quite a big problem this it was it wasn't just like uh, you know like trolling on the internet that youtubers deal with it was more of a serious thing because these were people you know and they were really causing a problem especially with your school so if you want to uh, you know explain your story a bit more in detail so the guys know what's going on and how this all started yeah for sure okay so about two weeks ago um, I went to this basketball game where my school was playing a really top-end basketball team also from the same province and this basketball team they were playing is known for being just a great team and I had gotten a flip mino HD and a tripod for Christmas so I thought it would be kind of a cool idea to record it just to see what the quality would be like and I never even thought about my team I just thought hey I'm gonna go watch the game so I started filming and I had filmed the whole game and at, by the end I started to think Oh, you know, I wonder what this would look like on YouTube. So, as I was leaving, um, some guys came up to me, and I couldn't really sense that there was an angry tone, but they said, why are you here? And I said, oh, I'm just filming the game. I'm going to make a highlight video. I was kind of joking with them because we're, we're not like enemies, but we're not really friends. It's We're kind of neutral. Yeah. So I thought they would get the, the joke, and apparently they didn't, and they thought that I was trying to embarrass them. So I went home that night not knowing that they were upset, and I put the fourth quarter on YouTube and they found it, the video, <laughs> unfortunately. I I actually took it down literally 23 hours later, but it was too late and I think two or three people had seen it by that time. Yeah. And uh, that was just the biggest mistake. Um, and I found out later that they found it through one of my friends who I had told about my gaming channel. And I had told him I was really proud of my stuff, like I thought I was doing a pretty good job. And, you know, he didn't think it was amazing or anything, but he never said anything negative about it. Yeah. So, he told everyone about my YouTube channel. And from there, they found my second channel, which is where I post all my real life stuff. And it came to the point where I was going to school and people were saying things about me. I had to delete my second channel because they, they were all looking for it. They went on all my videos and they started posting all these comments and I couldn't tell who it was because of course the anonymity of the internet wins in that exactly. case yeah so I, I just didn't know what to do it, it must have been hard as well to know that your friends has actually like I guess stabbed you in the back um, in a sense you know telling people about this channel and um, you know kinda of taking the taking the mick out of it if you know what I mean yeah there was a point which is actually when I um, sent the message to Woody was I, I came home and I, I had a little panic attack because I went to school that day and people had been threatening me and I'd heard all these rumors about me and I realized I no longer have any allies like I don't have any friends here anymore and that's the point when I, I thought I wanted to leave yeah you wanted to leave your school yeah yeah that, that's pretty crazy I can't imagine like you know being in that sort of situation because for the most part you can deal with like negative um, you know, negative feedback on your videos and stuff and things yeah, that you yeah, do. Yeah, I have no problem with trolls. <laughs> yeah, of course, but when it comes to the point where it's your your friends and that and it's basically a joke on you, then obviously that's going to make life a lot harder and you're just going to want to, you know, either just completely stop doing it or uh, or just or just leave like you wanted to. Um, yeah. So you was getting threats, like, from people. I'm guessing because of this basketball game, because you posted... Um, you know, a losing game, basically. Yeah, they lost by quite a bit. I won't go into that because I don't want them to be upset. But yeah, okay. They lost and they were upset about it. Yeah, so they they were obviously threatening you, and you say that that stopped now. Is that is that the case? Yeah. After after about two days, after that Thursday, I think I went I went to school Friday, and I had a couple girls actually that stuck up for me. All my guy friends, they. They completely backstabbed me, but all there's a bunch of girls at school that stood up for me, and um, they basically talked to the basketball team and said, "Look, you can't, you can't say this to this guy. I mean, this that's wrong. That's illegal. You can't do that." So yeah. I received a message from 
one like the basketball captain and he said look we've dropped it we won't come after you but the thing that really bothers me is that they never apologized they never apologized for that mental threat i was scared out of my mind for three yeah. days they don't really care well it does sound like you've had a good uh a good response from the community um like you said on your channel you've had uh, some nice comments and stuff um so for this, you know, this incident, I guess it looks like it's kind of coming to an end for you, which is which is fantastic, really. Um, but what would you say to someone who was kind of going through the same thing? Gosh, I don't know. If if you're going through what I've gone through, and people are making fun of you for what you love, you got to keep doing it. I mean, I've received such great response. I've received over 50 personal messages, and I've responded to all of them. And I just I keep saying thank you, like. People are so good to you, and there is good in the world. So you can't just stop what you do, what you love doing. It's just you gotta push on through and just ignore them. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming on the channel. That's the end of this game here. 202 for O um, on a fire range domination. I was kind of a bit campy, but still, nevertheless, <laughs> uh, a nice achievement. So uh, again, thanks for coming on the channel, and uh, I guess you can just say goodbye, and we'll leave it at that. Yeah, thank you so much for having me on the channel. I, I, and I'd just like to give a thank you to everyone that's sent a message and commented. I try to reply to all of them, but if I've missed you, I apologize. I've just received such a great response. Thank you so much.